Hello everyone, I am recording this mini tutorial because someone asked me how I would go about on modeling some roof tiles for a house. You won't need any special modules as this is a really simple technique. I just used advanced render for the final look. So I have here this really simple structure. I will go ahead and create the cube. And I'll set its dimensions to about 2 meters on the y-axis, about 20 for the x-axis, and about 35 for the z-axis. So this will be my basic tile. I'll just give it another shape here. Three segments on the x-axis and make your object editable. Now with the loop selection let's go to polygon mode and select this middle portion and with the move tool we'll create this simple tile shape. Okay. So let's position this object over the left part of the house okay and what I will do is rotate it a bit a bit more than the inclination of the roof Now that we have our first tile position, select Functions, Duplicate. Let's have a look at the Attributes Manager for this tool. And I'll reset all the values. Okay. So, on, on the mode, option select linear this is way too much and we want some displacement on the x-axis apply oh, just let me undo that and check here generate instances so if you want you can modify the original object and the instances will um, be modified accordingly. Okay, so let's hit apply. And 20 seems like like a good number, but you can change it dynamically. And what we can do is pump up the number of copies, just so we can cover all of the roof. Okay. So now we have our first line of roof tiles and I'll take my or original cube and put it inside the null object that was created with all of the instances of the cube. So what we'll do now is take this first line of tiles and select again functions duplicate. Let me just bring back my attribute manager okay and select new transform so we'll have to zero this property and make uh, let's see about 20 copies let me go to my right view okay And just start tweaking the values so the copies can cover the roof. This is just 
a trial and error process but it doesn't take a long time to get it right and I generated some extra lines okay so now I have all these parts of the roof covered I'll again take my original line and make it a child of the copies and I will create a new null object and find this one here okay so now I can move it around just just a bit over here and if you want to cover the other parts of the roof you can just simply duplicate this null object via simple copy paste and rotate it 180 degrees or shift so you can get the exact number okay and this is how we easily generate our tiles let's apply a material this is just a simple orange material and let's see how this looks on a render So this is it for this mini tutorial, I hope you enjoyed it and can apply this technique to your own scenes and don't forget to see my product, the Archivist Training Series for Cinema 4D on the main webpage.